So, Greg, who's the power? Who has the power in Green Bay? The Green Bay Packers. They have the power. They will forever have the power. But Aaron Rodgers has leverage, mm. and in this game, as a player. It's something that you don't come across too often. And now that Aaron Rodgers knows that he has leverage, he's going to use it. Why would you use leverage? Because you can get what you so desire if a team ends up giving way. And the Packers typically don't give way. And this is why there's such a clash of the Titans, because the Green Bay Packers have done things the way that they've always done things, which is go through the draft, not draft, skill position guys in the first round, make sure that they surround Aaron Rodgers with enough talent, but he's going to elevate whatever they put on the field with him, and he's frustrated with that methodology. And when you look at why they haven't been able to be successful, it's been because typically of the defense not holding up their end of the bargain. Well, now you have a quarterback that's older. He understands that he's older. He knows that he has weapons, but he wants more, and he wants it done his way, and he's performed. Let's not forget, we're talking about the MVP of the 2020 regular season, a, a quarterback that has gotten their team to the NFC Championship game two years in a row. And so when you think about what his asks are, they're not a lot. It's not a lot. I want to be guaranteed. I want you to give me a contract that says I will end my career here and let me ride off into the sunset. It's not about Jordan Love. It's more so about I want to win a championship. If the desired outcome is met, great. But it hasn't been met doing it the way of the Green Bay Packers with the general manager in place and all the ifs, ands, and wits, if ands, and buts. Aaron Rodgers is tired of it, and he's finally spoken up, something that I truly never would have thought that he would have done in his career at Green Bay with the Packers. I, I say he's going to get what he desires. We will see, but it is real. Go ahead, Rick. Greg, you're going to have to explain to me the difference between leverage and power because as I see it, they're one in the same. And Rodgers has it. To your point, he has the leverage. Therefore, he has the power. And it simply comes down to this. What can uh, Aaron Rodgers, what does Aaron Rodgers offer the Green Bay Packers. As you said, literally the most valuable player in all of football right now. The guy that makes them go the biggest difference maker in the game. They are not the same team, not even close, without Aaron Rodgers. On the other hand, what do the Green Bay Packers offer Aaron Rodgers? They offer him money and they offer him the opportunity to play football. And from what I have heard and seen of Aaron Rodgers of late, he likes those things, but he doesn't love those things. He doesn't need those things in order to go forward. Served as host to Jeopardy, has talked about, hey, I might want to do this. I could do this with football, without football. He got engaged. I just, and ever since he said, after winning a Super Bowl, is that all there is? Like he climbed the mountain. I just got the sense that his fulfillment doesn't necessarily or isn't necessarily going to happen when it comes to playing football. He doesn't strike me as being that type of a guy. And I'll tell you, personal, personal story. Like for me, I was at another network. I was doing everything you could possibly could, could do. I had uh, achieved what I was hoping to do. And I had a young family. I had young kids. I was newly married, relatively newly married, and I was looking for a new challenge. And my employer was making a couple decisions on the side that I didn't necessarily agree with. Mm. And it wasn't that I had to leave, but I saw the possibility of life being better doing something else. And so ultimately, when it came to it, I was okay with walking. I took that leap of faith and went on and have never, and never regretted it. They hired three people to replace me. They moved on. And I moved on. And I, what I see in Aaron Rodgers right now at this point in his life is that I see a guy at a similar juncture where he's good doing what, he, what he's doing, wouldn't, be, wouldn't have a problem staying where he's staying. But if it's not going to be exactly what he wants, he's also more than ready to go explore something else. See, I think it's Green Bay that has the power here, guys. And I, I can understand where you guys are coming from. I think there's different levels of power when you think about it. 
I compare this situation to like a, a community of homes. And you think about it, right? You live in that community of homes, you have water, you have electricity, and you're able to use it at your leisure. But you got to pay for it, <laughs> right? You got to pay for it. Aaron Rodgers has all of these utilities that he has access to. He has the power. His home is powered, all right? He has heat. He has AC. He can do all those different things. But if you disconnect from those who connect you to the power, they can turn the power off. See, there's three options here that exist for Aaron Rodgers, and there's three options here that exist for the, the Green Bay Packers. First one, retire. All right, now, if I, if I fill in the first one with Aaron Rodgers or, or versus the Green Bay Packers, it sounds interesting, right? So if Aaron Rodgers retires, Aaron Rodgers has to pay back money. Not if Green Bay allows, or if, if Aaron Rodgers retires, Green Bay has to pay money to Aaron Rodgers. It's not the reverse. Aaron Rodgers still would have to pay money to be able to stop playing football. Second option, move on. Move on to a different team. Now, Aaron Rodgers doesn't dictate if he moves on to another team. You know who does? Uh, let's see. Packers have to sign off on a trade. Hmm. So Aaron Rodgers can't leave because he wants to leave. Aaron Rodgers can't dictate draft choices because he wants to dictate draft choices. That's no power. And the third one, of course, play for the Packers. Now, if I'm the Packers and I say play for Aaron Rodgers, then this next part is interesting. Hmm. Uh, with playing for the Packers, your third option is swallow your pride and admit that you don't have the power is basically, in essence, what you would have to do. And what we're staring at right now is a head coach that's disappointed that Aaron Rodgers is upset and doesn't want to be there anymore. You have a GM that's trying to do subterfuge with the, everything that's going on right now. And it's all geared towards trying to come to a, a solution for Aaron Rodgers. Greg, I say this. Aaron Rodgers is, in fact, not in power, nor does he have the power. And if he did, these conversations that we've been having about him for years would be very different. Okay, so, so let, me, let me explain how this works. Okay. Yes, the Green Bay Packers have power, Rick. And this is why I say the Green Bay Packers have the power and Aaron Rodgers has leverage. Because if they so choose to pull the trigger and give him what he desires... That's in their hands to do. That's power. If they stand, if they stand flat-footed and on the concrete sole that they are standing on in the footing, that's power. then that's what they choose to do. And he has to live with that decision, period. They dictate everything. However, the desired outcome is where the leverage shifts to Aaron Rodgers. Because if they desire to win championships, and that is what the Green Bay Packers is all about, Winning championships, Aaron Rodgers gives them the best chance to do that. The only chance to do that in this current state of where they abide with the personnel that they have on their current roster. If he, cho if he chooses to retire, we're not talking about the Green Bay Packers as a competitive team this year. If he chooses to be traded and they agree, we're not talking about the Green Bay Packers as a competitive championship team unless they acquire talent that is going to supplement everything that they lose with Aaron Rodgers and what team is truly willing to give up all of that. So that's why Aaron Rodgers has the leverage because if in order for them to accomplish any of their foreseeable goals, he has to be on that roster. And he knows that. And everybody as a talking head knows that. Every fan knows that. It would, but, but then the Packers also know this is our decision. Either we're going to stick to it and we're going to move on or we're going to just give in to what he wants and then still have our desired outcome in front of us.